Hey guys, I'm excited to bring you another research stock that you probably should put on your watch list. With today's inflation, rising gold prices, you might want to look at a company we're looking at today called Gold Mining, ticker symbol GLDG on the American Stock Exchange. Now this is very interesting. They have a lot of big projects going on, ownership and other uh gold royalties and uh, outstanding performance during bear markets, right? And also outstanding performance when the price of gold spikes. So we're going to do an overview of this company and take a look and see if this would fit your profile on, uh, on gold exposure a little bit with the gold miner. And uh, let's just get into it. So thanks for being here. So who is Gold Mining Inc? They are a, a mineral exploration company focusing on the acquisition, exploration, and development of gold assets in the Americas. It operates a diversified portfolio of resource stage gold and gold copper projects in Canada, the United States, Brazil, Colombia, and Peru. The company's principal projects include the Lamina Gold Project and the Gold Copper Project in Colombia, the Whistler Gold Copper Project located in Alaska, and Sao Jorge Gold Project located in the state of northeastern Brazil. Now with the interest rates, we're talking not one, not two, maybe three, I've heard as high as seven rate hikes this year, uh, gold tends to do well. Now, uh, if you look at the stock performance of gold mining uh, over the time when gold has risen you see strong outperformance uh, throughout right if you go back to december 2013 to march 2014 you had an increase in stock price of 164 percent january 2016 to september 2016 665 percent december 2018 to february 20 150 percent march 20 to august 2020 218 percent now uh, we have one analyst that has a five to six dollar price target on here now if you consider if gold were to keep running here could we have one of these outperformances again um, if you look at gold prices they just touched two thousand dollars if we get to that and over with inflation and, and these interest rate hikes really taking uh, people out of possibly the stock market and into safer assets, gold prices could probably skyrocket here. If you look at their portfolio of assets, it's very diverse throughout all of the Americas, right? You got anywhere from up to Alaska down to Brazil. You have uh, gold, million ounces, measured and indicated 12.5. 12 and 12 Silver, million ounces, 9.9. .9. Copper, million pounds, 1.6 thousand pounds. Gold equivalent, million ounces, 16.2 and 16.2. So their commodity exposure all overall, 81% in gold, 18% in copper, 1% in silver. Gold Mining also owns 20 million shares of a company called Gold Royalty. Now what they do is they receive royalties and pay out a dividend to Gold Mining. Now uh, the dividend is projected to be about $800,000 per year in cash flow to Gold Mining and anticipated to grow. Now you can see the significant exposure throughout uh, Colombia, Peru, Brazil, Ontario, Alaska, Nevada, all, of, all over America. So you have significant exposure to the world's top mining jurisdictions. So not only do you have the assets of gold mining, you get the indirectly the royalties, uh, dividend payments to the company from gold royalty. Gold Mining's flagship asset, which is the uh, Whistler Project in Alaska. 
They're, it's a project with meaningful scale, 2.99 million ounces gold equivalent, 6.4 million ounces gold equivalent inferred, property area of roughly 42,000 acres. So the board of directors approved a strategy to have U.S. gold mining operated as a separate public company through an initial public offering or similar transaction, replicating the success of the Gold Royalty Corp, which today represents approximately $100 million equity holdings on our balance sheet and will provide approximately $800 to $1 million of pre-tax dividend income to gold mining per year. Favorable recent market valuations for Alaskan-based resource stage gold and copper projects supports a potential re-rating for the Whistler project as the flagship asset of U.S. gold mining as a standalone company. The brilliance of this company, I talked about uh, Gold Royalty Corp. Uh, th th that's the brilliance of it. If you go back to the bear market, right? Gold mining was able to buy assets for pennies on the dollar. So uh, in the market cap, they acquired all these companies here between 2012 and 2020 for $81 million. So uh, they pretty much bought $850 million worth of companies for $81 million. And that's the gold royalty corp. So they're getting paid royalties uh, forever on these or as long as the mines are producing so the enterprise value 222 million they do have the 20 million shares plus cash on hand of 116 million and uh, then that Whistler project we just talked about uh, this could possibly like I mentioned with the interest rates inflation and all that and people looking for uh, exposure to the gold area gold mining looks like a nice setup here now finally i want to leave you with uh, hc rainwright they they did a uh, target price revision on november 9th and they gave it a price target of six dollars and 25 cents that's considering the ownership of 20 million shares of gold royalty worth over 100 million dollars today uh, gold mining's ability to operate with minimal dilution for years. They are actually profitable. Um, I want to take a look also at the stock price. If you look at the stock price compared to the gold spot price, anytime there was a spike in gold spot, GLDG kind of exploded and, and outperformed the gold, gold price. So if we take a look back here in 2016, 2015 or so, where uh, gold prices went from about $1,000 an ounce up to $1,200, $1,300, you can see at that point, GLDG, Gold Mining Inc., went from $0.28 cents all the way up to $2, so almost a 10x there. And then again, in March of 2020, we'll look at the gold spot price there. It went from around fourteen, about fifteen hundred dollars, up to over two thousand, and in that time frame, uh, Gold Mining Inc. went from seventy-eight cents all the way back up to two dollars and seventy-two cents. So, uh, are we headed to toward higher gold prices now? Uh, all indications are there. Um, again, Gold Mining Inc value investment here possibly uh, put it on your watch list it's trading as of date of this recording at a dollar 73 uh, year to date it's already up 26 percent and um, yeah take a look at it that's gold mining ink ticker symbol gldg on the american stock exchange hope you guys enjoyed you guys have a great day thanks bye-bye